Hello, today I'm going to be bringing you guys a video um, inspired by a comment that I got yesterday in my uh, in in my comment section on an older video. Uh, I'd like to thank Seven uh, for making this comment and it made me think a little bit. Uh, so Seven commented uh, on my video, how much tank can a Varger tank if a Varger can tank tanks? <laughs> It was a fun video to do. I, I I basically saw how much tank of Varger would get. Um, but he he explained that uh, Marauders 5 doesn't mean 7.5 times 5. It is whatever it was before. Call out the base. Multiply by 1.075 times. So it's actually a base of 1.05 times 1.375. Or which is more than the base of 1.375. So this would be referred to as a myth. It, it has grounds in reason as to how it works. But it isn't actually how it works. And I want you guys to be able to take a comment like this, put it through your reality filter, and then come to a conclusion yourself. Uh, so this made me question my reality. So I went and checked it out. And this is the result of the science. Uh, so first off, we have to figure out what uh, 1.075 times base actually is. Uh, we can open up a calculator. I cheated. I already did all the math. Uh, but we're just going to do it again to show you guys. Uh, but we'll go ahead and minimize this. I also already have the module that we're going to be tested, fit, and ready with all the information ready for you guys. So we take 1.075 times 1.075. So this would be level 2. Level 3. Level 4. Level 5. So we would end up with one, four, three, five, six, two, nine, whatever. Only these three digits matter. So we'll round it up and say 44%. Because that's what it maths out to be, about 44%. Uh, so if we were to have five and his statement was true, we could math it like this. So we've got all clear. Uh, we can go ahead and see our module here is 924 HP uh, per cycle. Go nine two four, and then multiply that by the one point four. We'll give it four four. Uh, we would get one thousand three hundred and thirty HP per cycle. Now, if we did it, what my theory was correct, and remember, we're sciencing here, so we're we're going to make a couple predictions. If his theory is correct, his theory predicts that the rep rate for this module, with the Marauder skill to five, uh, where did Spaceship Command? And go Marauders with the Marauder skill to five, right? His module with the Marauder skill to five, his prediction says it'll be 1,330 HP or 1,325 HP or HP per cycle, right? That makes sense with the math. So now I'm going to make my prediction, which is that it is, as I say it is, the 1.375 uh, because of the bonus being 7.5 times five, uh, all clear here. 0.5 times 5 equals 37.5. So I predict this 37.5 percent. Uh, we can take that number again, and we can go 924, 924, and then multiply that by 1.375, and we get 1,270. So 1,330 or 1,270 is going to be what the shield boost is actually going to be. If you have a prediction, pause the video now and comment what you thought it was. And then uh, let me know what you guys think. But for the big reveal, uh, we're just going to go ahead and show info on this and see what it actually is. In this case, is 1,270, which is exactly what my calculator said it would be. And I actually had a hard time with this video because I had crystals in my head. And so I had to go through and I did the math and it lined up to be that when I had crystals. Crystals made it funky. Because I, I did uh, 1.25 uh, times uh, 1.75 uh, and it ended up being a weird thing. Uh, but I think it's because they multiply together. Anyways, this is probably where, that made, where his idea came from. If I hop into a crystal clone, if I open up my character sheet here, and then hop into a crystal clone, these mid-grade crystals, which mid-grade crystals with 25% bonus, we get 1,700 HP per cycle. And if we do the math again, and we go uh, open up my calculator again, and we go uh, 924, and then multiply by 1.25, we get 1150. 
and we multiply this again by 1.375, we get 1,588. And that is confusing because that's not what the game says. So that's why Seven probably commented on that because... He, he, he did the math just like this. And he's like, no, it's more. It's got to be more. But this is the math that I haven't done yet. Let's go ahead and see what happens if we go 1.25 and then multiply that by 1.375. We get 1.71875. And then we multiply this by 924. 924. We end up with 1,588, which was the same number that we got before. So I'm wondering why we have 1,700 HP per cycle. There is something going on with the crystals here that I am unsure of. And in the comments, I want you guys to tell me what it is because I honestly don't know right now. It might be that the mid-grade uh, mid crystals aren't 1.25% bonus. Uh, we'll actually go look that up really quick. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and open up the Googles. And we're going to go Google Eve. What is it? Pirate implants. And we should get implants in the Eve wiki. And we should get a uh, navigation shield tanking, shield boost amount, uh, mid-grade crystal of 25% for the entire set, uh, which is interesting. Is it 25% for the last slot? And so it's it's 25 plus the 10%? I don't know. Or is this the total effect right here? So I was wrong in high-grade crystals or mid-grade crystals have a total effect of 33.83%. Let's redo our math and verify this. Let's go ahead and enter into our calculator right here. We'll go ahead and all clear. We're going to go 924. Uh, nine, We're going to multiply this by 1 point... What was that number again? 33.83. 1.3383. It was 1,236. And then we're going to multiply again by 1.375. And end up with 1,700. Look at that. That's because the actual effect bonus of the mid-grade crystal set isn't 25%, it's actually 33%. This is news to me because I, I, I was using math to rough out my, um, in, in my head. High grades are 37% uh, and um, mid-grades are 25% and then low grades are like 17% was what I had in my head for crystals. I guess I'm wrong. I was very wrong, uh, and because low grades are actually 20%, mid grades are 33%, and high grades are 53%. So a fun fact here is that uh, we don't have to calculate in any of the stacking penalties when ship bonuses are in effect. So whenever you're calculating your ship bonuses, that is first to the equation with zero penalty. And it never conflicts with another module. So if you have a ship like a Dominix that has a tracking bonus on it, you'll never be able to match the tracking bonus on something like a Rattlesnake. Like a Rattlesnake will never have as good drone tracking as a Dominix can because of the fact that it has that unbonus first module effectively at the 37% for the tracking or whatever it is. But ship bonuses never stack with their regular bonuses and, or with, with modules, so they never have stacking penalties, and neither do implants. Implants always have no stacking penalty as well. Skills are also the same way. Uh, the effect of them applies before any kind of stacking penalty at all. So this is why skills are so powerful in the game and why implants are so powerful in the game. Anyways, uh, if you guys like this video and there's a little bit of science into the math of how uh, ship bonuses work, and ship characteristics and skills and, and implants and all that, uh, I would encourage you to like, comment, and subscribe. So I'm encouraged to make more videos of how things work in the future. And I also uh, want to thank you for sitting and watching for the entire video. I really, really appreciate it. And I like seeing you guys in here. I love reading comments. I love responding to them. And I love having discussions. 
So thank you again for coming. Thank you for commenting. Like and subscribe down below. Make sure you ring that little bell. And I will see you guys in the next video.